chemical properties of alcohols. There are five reactions of alcohol. Reaction with sodium, esterification, dehydration, substitution reactions, and oxidation. Reaction with sodium. The reactants are alcohol and sodium metal. The products are sodium alkoxide and hydrogen gas. This is alcohol. The alcohol acts as an acid because the OH bond breaks producing H+. Reacts with sodium. So, the OR part is OR minus. So, bind with Na plus metal ion becoming sodium alkoxide plus hydrogen gas and it is half because you only have one hydrogen atom so half of H2 this arrow pointing upward means gas is released example ethanol reacts with sodium metal producing sodium ethoxide so this is the sodium part this ion is ethoxide ion plus half of hydrogen gas release next esterification the reactants are carboxylic acid and alcohol so in order for you to make esterification reaction the alcohol must be reacted with carboxylic acid the condition of reflux and catalyst, we use acid such as sulfuric acid H2SO4. The product will be ester and water. So this is carboxylic acid, acetic acid and benzoic acid COOH reacts with alcohol in the presence of sulfuric acid, heat or reflux. To produce ester and water so in acetic acid we remove or in carboxylic acid remove the OH part and in alcohol remove the H part don't interchange in carboxylic acid you must remove OH not removing OH in alcohol remove OH in carboxylic acid in alcohol, remove hydrogen atom. The part that you remove leaving C double bond O and in alcohol leaving C single bond O. So this part must attach this carbon C single bond O must attach to the C double bond O in carboxylic acid that what makes it ester so C single bond O single bond C and this C has double bond O this is benzoic acid the carboxylic react with carboxylic acid react with alcohol so remove OH group in carboxylic acid and remove H atom in alcohol you must attach the C double bond O with C single bond O. So this part must attach to C double bond O, making C single bond O single bond C, and this C has one double bond O. This is ester, methyl benzoic ester, plus water. Water comes from H, from alcohol and OH from carboxylic acid. Dehydration. The reactant is alcohol. The condition is heat and we must use catalyst concentrated H2SO4. The product will be alkene and water and this dehydration process must follow Cezat rule. Dehydration means removal of water. Cezatrol states that in an elimination reaction, the most stable alkene has the most highly substituted 
alkin. So, in alcohol, one H atom will remove from one carbon and OH group must be removed from other carbon but the other carbon must be the carbon that attached to this carbon because we want to form the C double bond C making H2O as a living group dehydration of ethanol concentrated sulfuric acid and heat remove one hydrogen atom and one OH group giving the product ethylene and water for cyclohexanol remo we remove hydrogen atom and OH group from these two carbon so the double bond must be formed between the carbon that you remove hydrogen and hydroxide Substitution reaction using HX, PX3, PX5 or SOCl2. X means halogen atom. ROH, alcohol, reacts with HX, PX3, PX5 or SOCl2 to produce haloalkin. So if you have alcohol, undergoes, can undergo substitution reaction to produce haloalkane, the alcohol will, will react with these four compounds and a haloalkane will be formed. Alcohol reacts with hydrogen halide or HX, X stands for halogen. So this X will replace OH group in alcohol, making RX plus water. Because you're removing this OH and this H. Second, alcohol reacts with PX3. Phosphorus bind with three other halogen atoms. The product will be Rx. So only one X atom will replace the OH group in alcohol plus H3. PO3 and we have other side product as well but you only need to know Rx plus H3PO3 next alcohol reacts with PCl5 only one Cl will replace OH group in alcohol plus POCl3 plus HCl making the total number of Cl 5 1 in haloalkane, 3 in POCl3 and 1 in HCl. Last one, alcohol reacts with SOCl2 or pyridine. The product will be RCl, so only 1 Cl will replace OH in alcohol plus SO2 plus HCl. So this 2O comes from 1, 2, and another 1Cl goes to HCl. Example substitution reaction using HX, PX3, PX5, or SOCl2. So, first with HCl, the hydrogen halide. So, only Cl will replace OH. The Cl will replace OH. And the byproduct is H2O. When you react with PX3, X stands for halogen, so example PBr3, only one Br will replace OH. So you have this compound, one Br only replace OH plus H3PO3. Next, reacts with PCl5. Only one Cl replace OH group. So CH3, CH2, Cl plus POCl3 plus HCl. And when reacts with SOCl2 or pyridine, only one Cl group will replace OH. So CH2, Cl plus SO2 plus HCl. Oxidation. The oxidizing agent can be acidified solution of chromate 
Na2Cr2O7 or K2Cr2O7 or CrO3. Acidified solution of permanganate KMNO4 or pyridinium chlorochromate PCC in inert solvent, for example CH2Cl2. So these three can be oxidizing agent when the reaction is oxidation reaction with alcohol. Oxidation products of alcohol depends on the class of alcohol used and the types of oxidizing agent. Means if you use different class of alcohol, different oxidizing agent, you're going to have different type of product. Oxidation will only happen if the C which attached to the alcohol, we have C bond OH. The C must have hydrogen attached to it. Oxidation of primary alcohol. Primary alcohols are oxidized to aldehydes or carboxylic acid. So the product of oxidation of primary alcohol can be aldehyde or carboxylic acid. Depends on the reagent use. So if you have primary alcohol, you use the oxidizing agent PCC in inert solvent, the product will be aldehyde. If the primary alcohol oxidize using oxidizing agent KMNO4 and A2Cr2O7 or K2Cr2O7 or CrO3, the product will be carboxylic acid. Alcohol primary Oxidize using oxidizing agent NA2Cr2O7 acidified heat, the product will be carboxylic acid. This OH part, the carbon that has OH, that carbon will be converted to COOH. Primary alcohol undergo oxidation using PCC as oxidizing agent, PCC in inert solvent that alcohol part will become aldehyde. Oxidation of secondary alcohol. Secondary alcohols are oxidized to ketone. It doesn't matter whatever oxidizing agent you use, the product will be ketone. The C that bond to OH, that C will become C double bond O. So here, 2-propanol, this C bonded to OH, this C will become C double bond O. Oxidation of tertiary alcohol. Tertiary alcohols do not undergo oxidation under normal condition because they have no CH bond on the C bearing the OH group. Means this carbon has no hydrogen attached to it. For alcohol to undergo oxidation, the C that attached to OH, this C must have hydrogen attached to it. But tertiary alcohol doesn't have hydrogen attached to this carbon. So no oxidation will happen in tertiary alcohol. This is the summary of oxidation of alcohol. For primary alcohol, reaction with hot acidified chromate or permanganate, the product will be carboxylic acid. If it's PCC and in its solvent, the product will be aldehyde. For secondary alcohol, react with hot acidified permanganate or chromate or react with PCC and in its solvent, both will give product ketone. But tertiary alcohol won't undergo oxidation in any oxidizing agent use because tertiary alcohol doesn't have hydrogen attached to the carbon that attached to OH. So no reaction for oxidation of alcohol in tertiary alcohol.